I'm having a dilemma. You know, I made this video a photo montage of um, the last 12 months for me being on hormones and how I've changed. And I had always planned for this video to be supplemented with some stories about how my transition has gone for the last year. How I've noticed myself changing, you know, which is kind of a different perspective on... on you get a different perspective than you do just by looking at photos. Because I want to tell you about what I've experienced. But the problem is, it's actually really fucking hard to summarize an entire year's worth of experiences in ten minutes. So every time I try to make this video that explains what my last year has been like, it ends up being 20, 15 or 20 minutes long. And that's too long for my channel. I guess there's a way to, like, pay on YouTube to be able to host longer videos, but uh, I can't seem to find that option. And I really don't like doing two-part videos, especially at the pace that I've been talking at. So I think I might just have to take it easy, slow down, and uh, really generalize what it's been like, even though I don't want to. I, I really like to share detailed information with you all, but it just seems like that's not possible in this case. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go in four month chunks, okay? So here's the first quarter of a year for me, being on hormones. This is what happened, alright? My skin softened, including my breasts. They didn't really grow that much. Um, they got a little bit... Okay, they grew a little tiny bit, but they didn't really change any shape. They didn't look like women's breasts, they just looked like big man boobs, which I'd kind of always had. They got a little flabbier, though. And the skin of my arms and my face softened. You know, I got a little bit of cheeks. And, uh, you know, my... My, um... <sighs> my relationship with men changed in this first quarter. I started having older, creepy guys hitting on me on the streets. You know, I wasn't passing well the first four months, so I was having guys pick me up because they thought that I was trans. Which I am. But that's not, that's not hot. And I mean, I'm not into guys anyway. Um, except I did have this one fantasy pretty early on that was about kind of being taken by a guy. That, and this fantasy just came out of nowhere. Um, and it helped me realize, like, what my ex wanted out of me, but I could never deliver. So it was good. It was good to have that, I think. And I guess I started to become open but I also started to become way more annoyed with guys. Uh, you know, I had a fling with a trans guy. Um, I became really confident that I actually wanted to have SRS, you know, from beforehand. I, I, I just wanted to get on hormones first and then decide. Um, you know, my libido dropped way off, I wasn't getting erections anymore, my ejaculate would turn completely clear uh, when it had been white for as long as I can remember. And just a lot of new weird things happening. Mostly a lot of emotional stuff, emotional swings, a little bit of physical changes. And so um, after the first four months was when I really started to actually pass to people, I think. Uh, you know, when I would have a new person start at work and would interact with them for a month or something, when I would tell them that I was trans, they would get surprised, and I'd have to show them my passport photo before they believed it. And that was new and weird, and it was, uh, it was a good experience. Um, you know, I really got my family and friends in Seattle used to Samantha. I visited them and was full-time, like, at this point, Sam Samuel was gone, and so they all really just got to know Samantha, and I got to deal with pronoun problems and, you know, just other stuff, family stuff that goes along with it, even though my family's very supportive. It's been hard. It's been a journey. Um, you know, the second quarter was also, like, when I got stopped at passport control. Um you know, annoying stuff, like, but, but things that affirm that I'm making it. Um, let's see here. 
in in you know at the end of the year I and beginning of this year I I doubled up on my um, well actually over the summer I kind of started to increase my spiro based on my doctor's advice and then over over the winter I discovered that from a blood test that I actually had a vitamin D deficiency so I got on vitamin D prescription and I think that the combination you know over time of doubling my spiro and then getting on vitamin D, which is good for breast health and prostate health, actually really affected my breasts. I think that they've they've grown because of this kind of boost from vitamin D. I don't know for sure, but I think that's what happened. Um, you know, in the third quarter, I just was dealing with more emotional stuff. Just very strong emotions. Really hard to keep them under control. Um, especially coming from a place when I had, like, lock-tight control grip of my emotions. Now it's like, I can be upset about, you know, someone using the wrong pronoun, but then actually start crying about, you know, missing my ex, even though that's not actually what I was upset about. So being able to, to, to control these things again has been a serious journey, a serious learning experience in of itself. Um, and, you know, in the third quarter was really finally when I started noticing that my breasts were, were going somewhere, instead of just kind of getting flabby, little flabby. Uh, but after this flab phase was over, they started to actually get mass and get shape and get actually, you know, this kind of like curve on the underside of the breast that I'd never had before. That started to appear kind of after I started vitamin D. Um, uh, let's see here, you know, in quarter three, I was, like, meeting a lot of people, again, that I had known before, especially with, like, work, work-related events, um, you know, I was really feeling just incredibly comfortable as a woman, in routine, confident, uh, adjusted, you know, integrated, this, this stuff was all happening after about, you know, six, seven months, um, and I think that, that in March, I, I actually, I went to the Game Developers Conference, and I had been there last year, in 2009, before taking hormones, and I was pretty much passing as a guy, I was presenting as a guy the whole time in 2009. In 2010, I saw a lot of the same people that I saw the year before, that had known me as a guy, or met me as a guy, and now I was introducing myself again like we'd never met. And I don't think they recognized me. And it's kind of funny because these are people that I th kind of think are celebrities in the game industry, so, uh... I don't know. I don't... I, I feel like I pulled a fast one on them. I don't want to actually... I don't actually believe that, but it's like, it's the only way I can put it. Just because, like, I don't want to... I don't want to come out to someone like that in that situation. And I was able, I think, to pull it off without really any problems. And so confidence. Confidence, confidence, confidence. Um, and yeah, I mean, by, by, you know, by April, by, for a couple of months ago, like, I really felt that my breasts were just, they were there, like, kicking ass. And, um, you know, there they are. They're, like, kind of nice. They're not, I mean, they still have a ways to go, and I still feel like I, I want to try to experiment with, um, with switching my prescription to injectables, because maybe that would actually make even more of a difference, like, kind of a big surge of, of hormones kind of at the beginning of the month would would affect them. I don't know, but it's on my mind. And, you know, actually even early on in hormones, getting on them at all, you know, I think I talked about this already, wanting to get SRS, I was really confident about that. Um, you know, I've, I've had to deal with uh, experiences with people. I've had flings with trans, with a trans guy and a bio guy and two girls, and so... Here's the thing. Both of the guys knew me from before I transitioned. Okay, one of the guys knew me from before, but one of I was out to both of the guys, and I wasn't out to both of the girls when I met them. So, when I was with these girls, I felt the pressure to to come out before we became physical, because I just knew that if we started getting physical, that I was just gonna get really scared that something was going to happen. Um, like, they'd feel my stubble 
or something like that, and just, it would be a mess. Um, and so, you know, God, I, I mean, I wish I had time to go into the detail like I wanted to, but I've really just had to take broad strokes here. Um, I guess the point is that it's been a gradual increase in confidence and comfortableness in, in physical changes that you can see in the photos. I don't feel like um, I'm, com I'm completely done with physical changes. I'm considering FFS. I'm definitely going through with SRS at some point. Um, you know, I'm living as a woman now, and uh, I feel like I have been for pretty much about about eight months. Um, but getting there was hard, so I'm out of time. Thank you. I'll see you next time.